set off, blocked off. So, like, if you're sitting there watching TV, you don't see the funnels and stuff. So, yeah. What a follow-up call, y'all? No, there isn't. No. Just listening to the call. No Too uh -uh. stupid, tailored. Um, are what there up? any repairs that are needed? No, there isn't. Repairs and have you made any updates for the last five years? Uh, yeah. When I uh, when I bought the house in 2011, I updated everything, all the cabinets, uh, doors, everything. Uh -huh. Hardwood floors, so new rugs. Every in 2011, is that right? Yeah. Okay. No garage. So, do you know how old is the roof? Uh, the roof is now probably, I'm going to say, four years old. Four, okay. Yeah. And has there been any foundation issue? Um, well, when I moved here, um, the, yeah, the foundation is cracked in a couple of places, um, but I fixed that. Listen to the call before I make the, the water, phone call. What up? Yeah, they let the water run down and yeah and it kind of messed up though so lead that came in last uh, you night know, okay. just now about to call him okay not a problem i have made known in here so um with foundation i mean with electrical plumbing and hot water heater it's all working oh absolutely yes okay and is it window units or central air it's central central Okay, so if I may ask, um, it, it really, it seems like a really nice house, so what makes you decide to sell it? Well, because I can't afford it anymore. Um, my ex-husband was helping me, and I'm not going to give you my life history, I promise. Um, but he passed away in February, and now I don't have anyone to kind of help me when time is rough. So I was just going to buy me a mobile home to where everything is included. And I wanted okay. to tell you, so too, you mentioned all the windows uh -huh. are also new in here. I replaced all the windows. Okay. So you mentioned, yeah, you can't afford uh, it anymore. How much is um, the mortgage or how much do you still owe on it? Uh, a 50, about 53. Uh, dang, dang. And does that uh, include the... I mean, but 145, that means she got equity. It's, we can make a deal uh, out of this. Cash or terms. Let's see what we can do. 500, and does that include the PITI, the principal interest taxes and insurance? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so currently you stay on the house? Yes, I do. Okay. Sound like this might be a winner. We can work spring, everything out. Uh, because I just I just got back to work because I've been fighting a couple rounds of cancer. And uh, I just got back to work about two weeks ago. Up, and so that's kind of why I was going to sell it because I, 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 I just can't work very many hours right now. Um, and my relative, my relative, she kept taking contracts with people that said they had insurance money and then, you know, that didn't come through and then people couldn't get the loan. So I got fed up with her and, you know, let her go. And let I just go. moved back down here. Okay. So how much are you looking to get for your house? Well, I, I was trying to get at least 145 huh? So I will come down on that. She want 145. Because everything is new. The furnace, air conditioner, everything. Um, well, the furnace and air conditioner is three years old. So, because I didn't, okay. I, I, what I did, I set everything up to where I could stay here the rest of my life. Because I'm 79 years old. And uh, the bills just keep going up. The sewer, the trash. And I just can't, on my little income, I, I just can't make it. Mm, we're going to help her out, y'all. What's okay, up? What's up? I definitely understand. So, um, a lot of motivation. Where did you get the amount from, that 145 Um. Well, I just kind of figured up how much I paid for it and all the work that I've done to it. Um, okay. So that, that's kind of how I did it. 
Okay, that's the after repair value. So, uh -huh. uh, if we can work everything out, how soon would you like to close? Um, soon. Soon. I mean, soon. I hate. Soon. Yeah, I hate moving in the winter time, but um, we'll I just talked to like. the owners up here at the trailer park. That's where I just bought me a trailer, but then I I couldn't pay both places, and uh, they told me just a little bit ago they'll even buy me a place and move in there it's the word I can have it so yeah so I I would find a place I think pretty easy uh okay so would you uh have you ever thought about listing the property with a real estate agent well I was going to do it in the spring I was going to do that again okay and would you possibly consider taking monthly payments until we pay you off in full uh, I more time. <laughs> um, as I was saying, uh, would you possibly consider taking monthly payments until we pay you off in full? Well, and, and how long would that be? Because I don't want to rent it because the renters are terrible. And I don't okay. have the money to so, fix it up. Uh, so uh, the best person to discuss those details would be my manager. Um, he'll be the one to discuss about the offer. It's a nice looking okay. house. So oh. that would be an option that you may uh, I'd rather buy that on terms. Okay, yeah. Okay. And what we're going to do here, Linda, is to gather some more information, like comps or comparable wholesales in the homes. Uh, it's the basement. Wholesales in, home sales in the area. And we will contact you back to either make an offer or to schedule a viewing. They put a house in the basement. So, man. what is the time to call you back? Nice to um, Really, any time during the day would be fine. You know, I don't know what makes it now, right now, all the leaves are falling, but in the spring and the summer, it's just gorgeous. It looks like a park area down here where I'm at. So, it's I really. Like this house. I mean, the house is not real big, but it's really in a rocks. beautiful setting. Okay, great. And do you accept text message? Uh, sure. Okay, so I have all the details here. So please expect a call back from my manager uh, within 24 to 48 hours, and he'll discuss the offer to you. Okay, is that Chris, or is that going to be another... Um, um, Possibly it's going to be Chris or someone else. Okay, because Chris has called a number of times since I've took it off the market. Um, but uh, I'll just, you know, I haven't called nobody back until now. Mm. You know, so. Okay. But, uh, but all right, well, having to call and we'll see what we can do. Okay, got it. Thank you so much. You have a good day. You too. Bye. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? This is the student master teacher, Mr. I Stay Woke, Chris Monroe, and I'm right back at you with a post-election real estate video. Hope you're having yourself a great day on this hump day, Wednesday, the day after election day. Sound like we got some motivation on here. That lady sound like she ready to go. Let's sign her up today. Yeah. Problem is, I'm getting some misinformation here. I don't know how many bedrooms and bathrooms are supposed to be at this house because on Zillow it's saying it's a 2-1. But when I look on other sites, it's saying it's a 3-bedroom, three 3-bath. Three so I'm like, well, what is it? As a matter of fact, hold on. That's why. I'll see what happened. It's not the right address. 2580. So I'm trying to make sure my comps is right. Make sure my numbers make sense. How y'all doing today? Was you up late watching the election results? We back to business today. I got to get some deals in. I've been slacking. It's time to pick up the pace. Let's get somebody locked in and closed up this month before Turkey Day. We got one supposed to close next Monday. And working on, got another one that's just signed today. And then I'm trying to get another one signed today if I can. Other one is like a little wholesale deal up in Newark County. Let's see what we got here. Um, is this the right thing? Yeah, that's the right one. 
So it is a two bedroom. Was I just showing y'all the wrong house? Hold on. Hell no. Let me see. This is a different set of pictures then. I was I looking on Zillow. No, I was looking on Zillow, so I was on the right one on there. Okay, I was on the wrong thing on Redfin. Redfin, that's my other favorite site. Better than Zillow. Because I could actually go on here and see what the comps are. So, now that I'm on Redfin, this is what the comparables say. 139, that one sold for back in October. This was a 3-1, that sold for 146. Uh, that's a 3-1, that sold for 195. And there's a 3-2, so for 113, another 3-2, another 3-2. But I believe our property is a 2-1. I need to confirm that with her when I get her on the phone. So if it is a 2-1, I mean, it's probably closer to this property here. And who would be calling right now? Should I even answer that? Hello, thanks for calling. Hello, my name is Sean Charles. I'm a bird dogger located in the Chicago land area and I'm looking to help investors find distressed properties. Are you willing to take a look at some of the properties I'm offering make a deal? Oh, you did a good job there. That sounded kind of clean. Um, yeah, you got something in St. Louis available? Oh, okay. I don't know how you found us then, because we're in St. Louis. But we do have some people in our network in Chicago. If you do get something under contract there, hit me back and we'll see if we can do something, all right? All right. All right, cool. Thanks. He had a nice little script, didn't he? I'm from the Chicago land area, just trying to see if you can take these properties off my hand. You like that script he hit me with? What's up, uh, John Lou? What it do? What's up, Justin? I just called you back. Uh, Vinchel says, do you think mailers are useful? They can be, but you better have your money right, because that stuff can cost, man. You'd be paying and paying and paying. You'd be like, damn, man, why does it cost so much? You know, your bang for your buck is kind of limited when you start talking about um, doing stuff with that. I'm not going to say it don't work, because we've gotten deals from it, but, you know, you got to have a budget for where there may be a better way to do it, but mailers do work, depending on how you do it. But because there's other you know, people in the business that spend thousands of dollars a month on mailers, and they get business, but they spend thousands of dollars a month. You got thousands of dollars to throw it out and see what happens? Do it. Now, if you were on a niche list, the more specific, you knowing you got multiple pain points, and you just happen to catch them at a good time and stuff like that, and they call you back and you can work a deal, more power to you. So I'm about to call this lady back, Linda, right here. So it looked like her house is worth about what she had it listed for. But looking online here, she had it listed for one. Uh, let's see what did she have it up for. She had it listed for one four five nine. Going all the way back to ooh wee. She been trying to sell this house since June. Yeah, they've been trying to sell this house since June. She originally listed it at one fifty five, and then it was pending sale. Then they dropped the price again. All right, put back on market. Then they dropped the price to one forty nine. Then it was pending sale. Then they came back on the market again at one forty five nine. Then it was pending sale again. Then they went on and just took it off the MLS in September of this, so two months ago. So this was an expired list. This is what I pulled off of WokeSource.com. I pulled a expired list. We hit them up with the cold call and cold text and voicemail campaign. And that's why that lady was like, Chris, keep calling me. That's right. You're going to respond, lady. We know you tried to sell. We know you failed when you sell. Do you still want to sell? She says she wants to sell. She owes about 53000 on it. Looks like the house is worth around one forty ish Worth around one forty ish And so we're going to see if we can work a deal with her. We're going to see if she says she may consider terms. And I would love to take over that house at $500 a month. That beautiful two-bedroom, one-bath. I'm moving that bad boy myself. That's a nice house. At five, that's less than I pay. I, I pay with 530 or 540 or something. I'd rather pay on this house. Hell. But depending on what we do here. Last question. How do you find numbers? I find everything but the number. WokeSkipTracing.com. That's the place to get phone numbers and email addresses as low as 15 cents per match. We don't charge you for the search. Only for the ones that are actually found. WokeSkipTracing.com. Go get your free account. And you can upload, 
a list if you want to to do bulk skip tracing or you can go on there and do individual skip traces as well so wokeskiptracing.com that's where you go Vin Shell. hope that helps you out so let's get Miss Linda on the phone let's see what she's doing so I already sent her a text message a little bit ago saying hi Linda you spoke to my assistant about your house I'm the one that would be buying can I call you within the next 10 minutes Chris she wrote back yes so let's see if we can get around here get this video a thumbs up give it a like give it a share if you care and if you see something that I miss let me know in the comments and I'll drop it in there here we go follow up closing call with the seller that said possibly yes to terms Let's see here. We're going to call her from the Pretty House line. We're going to record all calls for quality and training purposes, as usual. And we're going to call from here. So here we go. Here we go. She's probably a talker, but I want her talking right now. Hello. Hey, uh, this is Linda. Yes, it is. This is Chris. How are you today? I'm doing okay. I'm stressing now with this presidential thing. Oh, wow. Yeah, you never know. We're all still on edge. We don't know who's going to win that election, huh? No, no. Uh-uh. I guess they got oh, a, a, yeah. They were prepared for civil unrest and everything, but I guess we're going to find out in a couple of days or so, right? Oh. I hate this kind of stuff. I do. I'd like to know which one won. Like last night, I would have liked to know. Oh, you know, okay. But with all the mail-in stuff, I don't know why they started that, but yeah, I don't like it. Yeah, I didn't like the sound of it anyway. It looked like room for some type of cheating or something slick, right? I kind of think that there is something going on because with the way Trump's rallies went, there is no way he could have only had what he has right now. I just don't buy it. But that's me. Yeah. But I think there's a lot of people out there. I mean, everywhere you go, you saw Trump signs and, you know, all over. But anyway. <laughs> so, uh, so uh, what, um, yeah, I did talk to your um, assistant the other day. Yeah, Christine, and yeah. I guess, yeah, I guess she filled you in a little bit. Yeah, she told me a little bit about everything. I was just trying to find out, this is a two-bedroom, one-bath, is that right? Yeah, it is, correct, yes. Okay, because online it said a couple of different things. I'm like, I don't know if that's true or, or not. Okay, so um, let's see here. So it looks like I've got all the facts here, and you, in, uh, you actually indicated that you would entertain taking monthly payments if we could agree on a price and terms. Is that correct? What are you talking about? You know. Yeah. So we so we actually buy houses in several different ways. As you know, we do buy okay. for cash in any condition, regardless of how much you owe. But just being you yeah. know upfront with you, when we buy like that upfront cash, we don't pay retail for them. Um, we can pay a little more for properties if we're able to work out something more creative, like giving you a monthly payment over a period of time and uh, working out something like that. You can get a better purchase price and use a better deal. Um, it's just another option that you could consider. You know, it's totally up to you on that. So would you be open to considering uh, taking monthly payment until we paid you off in full? Well, how long are we talking about? Because I need, um, because I'm, you know, 79 years old, so I need the money to buy me, uh, what I was going to do is buy me a little mobile home where it doesn't cost so much, or, um, you know, for the insurance and all this other stuff. So, yeah, so basically... Um, yeah, so basically how the, how it would work is uh, we buy houses like this all the time, by the way. We close all deals through the local title company and a real estate attorney. So we make sure everything is, 
you know, you're protected in the deal and everything's legit. Um, when we do buy it, we take full responsibility of all of the maintenance, repairs, and anything that goes on with the house. So you don't have to worry about that taxes or any of that stuff anymore. We take on full responsibility of that. And uh, typically we even pay the closing costs for it. So it's a quick and easy way to sell your house and move on to, you know, find a different home or and things like that. Um, is that something you would be open to? Well, but, well, my question is how much of that, how much um, per month would, what are you talking about? Okay, let me take a look here. Uh, let me look back at the notes here. Um, because when I, when I moved out this spring, I had like three contracts on the house. But um, I, my realtor didn't kind of do what she needed to do. Um, so, you know, like one person bought it with hope he's going to get an insurance uh, settlement and stuff like that. So and I was still having to pay on everything and cut the grass and stuff. And I got a huge yard. So I, I just said, forget it, stop everything, and I moved back down here. Right, you right. Know? So. If we, so if we're able to work everything out, there are no real estate commissions or fees or real estate agents or any of that stuff. We're pretty much clean and straightforward. If we put a contract on the property, we're closing on the property. There's not going to be any kind of run around like that. So it just depends on if, you know, if we can work something out that makes sense. So if, uh, so what's the least you could accept on a price if we could agree on terms? I, complete, I can completely understand that. So, you know, it, and it, like I said, and it's just an option. We, we can see what options are available. I can get you a couple of them. But what do you think the least you would be able to accept on a price if we could agree on terms? Like I say, we do these types of deals all the time. It's pretty easy and straightforward. We can get it wrapped up as soon as title work is done most of the time, usually in a couple of weeks and, uh, you know, or 30 days or however long you need as far as, you know, making sure you got another place yeah. to move to. So we're really flexible on that stuff, and we're here to make this as easy as possible for you. We want to make this a smooth transition for you so you don't have to worry about cutting the grass and dealing with all the stuff of, you know, home ownership because that can be a burden on you. So yeah, it, Exactly. That's a lot. Um, so, but yeah, see, I don't know. I, I, and the reason I went ahead and called you is because I do see these commercials all the time that you, people buy the houses and they call them ugly houses, but this is definitely not an ugly house. Um, have you, did you see the pictures of it um, when it was on the web? Yeah, I saw um, some of the pictures from when it was listed before. It looks like a you know a great house. I mean, we would love to buy it. And like I say, even if we were to buy it just outright up front for cash up front like that, that's not a problem. We yeah. just would not be able to buy it for retail. So, I mean, even if we were to do a cash price, what's the lowest you think you could take on that? It's not really but more. I'm just, right, right. And I'm that's gonna the. Do it. I'm, I'm going to do it different. I'm not going to move out. I'm going to wait till it sells. So, so I don't have to drag my lawnmower back down here. So throw out a um, thing and let me know what, what you would pay. Right, right. 
Yes, and we would love to get you a cash offer on it. That's not a problem. What did you think the house would appraise for? Um, well, now the insurance that I have to have on this house is 160 but when I put it on the market, I put it, I believe it was 149 or something like that. Uh, let's see uh, here. It looks like you had it up for one forty five nine. Is that right? One, and then I went, yeah, because I was running out of money to pay these bills and then pay the bills up at the trailer park. So I lowered the price. Huh? And, uh, and then, of course, I did have another contract, but the people couldn't get the money. So I right. thought I should just stop everything. I'm, I can't do this. Exactly. So it can be stressful. Money. So if we were just to do it, like I say, when we do buy a house for cash, um, we just buy it outright. There's no real estate commissions. There's no fees. And we even pay the closing costs. I mean, realistically, if we were to buy it like that, I mean, I think we would be probably closer to the low hundreds. Is that something you would consider? What are you calling the low hundreds? Huh? Uh, like around 100000 something like that. I mean, was that something you would consider? Right, so, right. So those proceeds would cover to take care of the loan, and then whatever the difference is that's left over, you would be able to take right. that amount to buy another uh, place. Right. Uh, yeah. Well, that'd be about what less than fifty thousand, and that, I mean that's not no chump change, but um, it's still probably wouldn't buy anything. Have you have you found a place to move to already, or to buy already? I haven't. Um, now I did buy one uh, this spring when I moved out, but I sold it because I couldn't keep paying on that one and this one. Um, but the lady that runs the park, which is a mile up the road, um, she told me that she would have she would pick something up for me temporarily, temporarily until I could find something to you know move on to bring in. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's kind of what I was going to do or stay in one of the motels for like a month or so. Right, right. And so like I said, if we were to, uh, you mean, you can have your house sold today. That's really how smooth our situation goes, you know. I mean, if we can work out everything yeah. as far as pricing or if we're able to work out something creative, we can do that as well. So you said you would not consider something around 100000 something like that? No, because I, I know I can get more than that. So what do you think you could take as just a cash price, clean, easy transaction? What would you think you could take? I would take, uh, I would take 130 because I know it's worth more than that. And, you know, if I'd have had a good realtor, it would have sold for one. I think I started, I don't remember what I, but it was, I think it's one, 49 or 155 something like that yeah it looks like and it started I, about 155 back in let's see june or something june yeah yeah and um but then that's when i moved up to the trailer park and i bought me a nice trailer but i had to sell that one what did so you pay for that trailer I, um i paid uh 25 for it oh okay see <laughs> see so that's why i say yeah. i think i mean you probably could be you can have money left over pretty much <laughs> Right. And, that's, and we actually buy and sell those types of properties all the time. I may know somebody that has something that may be able to help you, you know, find a place to move to, too. You know, that's on the other side of the transaction. Um, so yeah. what's, so let me ask you this, Linda. What's more important to you, getting the price you want or a quick and easy sale? Uh, well, I definitely would like a quick and easy sale because that's very... Um, with me just coming out of the cancer deal in June of this year, I'm still battling it and I have anxiety a lot. And so with people coming here and they had every light on, all the fans were on, my oven was on, I was stressed to the limit. 
Oh, wow. Yeah, they running the bills up. Yeah, I would, and the air conditioner was all on. And, uh, and I had a turn to where it would be nice and comfortable just to come in here and look. But, uh, yeah, they... And I got a security system. They mess with that. It's like, I, well, I can't do it. I, my anxiety went through the rough. Um, I, so if you could, you know, I know you guys are looking for a place to make money, and this here is setting like a park area. Um, you know, Arnold Park is trying to connect the, this area to the park down there. Um, but I think I at least need a hundred and thirty. So you thinking one thirty is where you want to be at on a price, okay? Yeah. So, yeah. so as far as uh, if we were like I said earlier, if we were able to work out something creative and get you the price you want of one thirty, would you be open to something like that? So. Are there again, are you talking about the, the monthly payment? Yes. Yeah, so basically, like I say, we would take full responsibility of everything. We'll make sure that payment of $500 a month is paid every month on time or early. We put it on auto pay, yeah. usually on our properties. Um, we pay yeah. all the taxes, insurance, maintenance, anything that goes on with the house, lawn maintenance, all of that stuff. You don't have to worry about that, and you can actually sell your house and, and move on to bigger and better things. So that would leave me with how much per month are you talking? Because you um, still have to make the house payment. I mean, uh, yeah, you still have to... let me see here. So, let me see here. One, two. So I assume if you're okay if we would cover the monthly payment on it? Yes, yeah, so we would take make that payment on your behalf every month. Like I say, the principal, interest, taxes, and insurance on that loan, as well as any maintenance to deal with that house. And uh, you don't have to. It's not like being uh, having to deal with renters or anything like that, because we take care of everything. Okay. We have a whole system set up and process the whole transaction to make it easy and smooth for you, so you can go ahead and have the house sold and not have to worry about it anymore. I yeah, I don't think I could do that because I've got to have a little bit, like I said, to either rent me um, a, a apartment or rent me, um, you know, where they let you stay in the motel for weeks. Uh, so I'd have to have something, yeah. So that wouldn't work out for me. So that's the whole idea of me selling it is because I do need the money because yeah. I can't work right now that's fine so so back to saying if we were to do a just straight out cash deal no creative stuff just buy it for cash you don't have to worry about it i mean are you able to even get closer to the hundred thousand dollar mark no no because i got i've got more than that in this house oh okay so, no. so we yeah. so so when some um, what, what kind of offers were they making at first uh, when they were trying to buy off the MLS? Well, the, the, the first couple that put the contract on, they were giving me the full amount, which was 155 or 159 I don't remember now. Um, cancer does that to you, too. Um, and then um, the next contract, I think it was 149 he was going to give the full amount. Uh, you know, so every one of them was going to give a full amount, and then the last one, which was the third one, um, they were going to give the 145. Huh? But my realtor kind of lied to me, and I don't like that. I don't, I don't like it at all. So um, I shipped her out and. and Right. Yeah, they can mess up deals. We've had stuff happen in the past like that too, where somebody else come along and mess up a deal for us. Yep. So, um, you know, and so everybody that put a contract on, um, you know, was giving me the money that I asked for. The first one wanted me to pay the closing costs, and I absolutely told them no. Exactly. Why are you going to do that? Uh, because I don't, I don't pay money. Um, and uh, then the other two, it was just straight out, you know. Right, so right. they didn't want uh, no inspections, which they did. The two of them had uh, the inspections done of the house. Everything went, everything went good. Right, Nothing right. Needed, 
to be done. Um, and then the, the last one, they didn't even want an inspection because it had already been done two other times. So right, right. They, they wasn't even going to do it. Yeah, so, and, that's the, and that's the benefit of selling to us. I mean, it's painless, hassle-free sale. I mean, like, you know, like I said, as long as the numbers make sense for us, we're ready to move on it, and it's a cash thing, so it's not going to be contingent on waiting on a bank or anything like that. We just buy it outright for cash as soon as the title work is done. I mean, if we're able to work out something a little closer, I mean, I know you want to be at 130, and I was down at like 100. I mean, if I was able to come up a little more, I mean, do you think you can meet me somewhere in there? I I could kind of maybe possibly meet you in the middle. <laughs> what <is that>? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just to get I it mean, done. Uh, That's what I think. <laughs> yeah, um, and I wasn't crazy about moving in the winter time, but you know, um, you know, I mean, I I would. Right, right. Um, because I it's it's stressing me out a lot trying to keep the bills paid and you know, um, and and. Keep up my head above water. I can understand so, uh, that. And you don't want to be messing yeah. with the house. Like you say, you're 79 years old. You don't want to be taking care of that cutting grass, shoveling snow in a few weeks. We don't want you dealing with all that. And see, and that's what I've been doing since I've, I've lived here. And I moved here in 2011. And I've, it's, I've been by myself. So I've done all the work. And, uh, but it looks nice, you know, but it's getting to me now that I've had... Uh, the issue with the illness. I'm just not very strong right now. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna keep you in our prayers and hope you get well soon and heal back up and come back stronger than ever. Well, I I'm hoping too. I mean, it's I'm getting better, but I got a ways to go. I do. Yeah. You know, so 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 um, but, um so let's see here. So looking at the numbers here, if we were like I say, if there's no real estate commissions to worry about. No uh, closing costs. We pay all closing costs. No real estate commissions or fees or anything. Uh, what if we were able to do 110000 and you'd be done with it? Is that something you would consider? Um, well, I would have to think about that one a little bit. Oh, I thought you was ready to go, Ms. Linda. Come on. We really we ready to buy. Because we don't really want to be in these houses in the winter either. We want to go ahead and do what we're going to do to them and have them, you know, up and ready, you know, before Thanksgiving or, you know, Christmas, preferably by Christmas. So I know it'll take a few weeks for the title company to do their title work and stuff. So, so that's why I was thinking, I mean, if we can do something like that, we can get it going and uh, you won't have to worry about the house anymore. We can close when you're ready. We'll be flexible with you. So I know you're going to need a little time to find a place and do things like that. We're really flexible with that stuff to make it easy on you. That's our whole goal, to make it a win-win a situation for everybody involved. So, I mean, is that something yeah. you would consider, 110000 we pay the closing costs? Um, I will consider that, but I do want to kick it around. You know, because um, I, I do want to get up and under the house because I can't. Because, see, I just want to tell you, up here it's a trailer park. It, it's not a real fancy one, but it's it's a nice one. Um, everything is included with the house, with the rent. And it's 354 and your trash, your sewer, your water, you pay your electric, and that is it. And, see, down here I pay everything. You know, oh, everything. really? So, so you yeah, could take you know. that. You could take that hundred and ten, pay off the other loan, use the rest of it to buy a new place, and have money left over to you know until you you know want to do something else. So, so you're not stressed about it. And we can get this wrapped up before it gets too cold out here. I mean, we're like I say, we're 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 about the business. We want to get this done for you, and so you can move on to bigger and better things, and not have to worry about this house anymore. Right. Um, well, can I call you back in a couple of days? I, I, I got to think about all of this. Um, um, you know. Okay, that's fine. So what I would like for you to do, if possible, is if you can send me a text message with your email address on it, I'll reply. I'll send okay. you an email with our offer in writing so that you can look it over, make sure you like everything, and uh, we can get the process going as soon as you're ready. How about that? Okay, so we'll text you with my email address. Is that what you want? Yes, and that would be perfect. And uh, like I said, I'll email you later on this afternoon uh, with our offer in writing. So you'll have it and you can look it over, think about it, and uh, see if we can work something out. Because we really want to help you out with this and get this done. And uh, I know it's taken months already dealing with 
the real estate agent all the way from June to now. That's a long time. Right. We could have had this wrapped up day one, you know. It's pretty right. simple for us, you know. Well, okay. All right. Well, let me ask you this. Could you add another five so it be 115? 115, and we pay the closing costs? Let, let me check one second here. Let me check one thing. Give me one moment. Let me ask y'all, should I say 115 and do the deal here? Put it on mute. <laughs> y'all over here laughing, man. I done worked this lady all the way to 115. All right, uh, Miss Linda. Yes. Okay, so yeah, so if we, can, if we can do 115 if you get it signed off today. That's what they just said. Is that something you can do? Well, just the paperwork. Well, can, they said if, if, if I we. Can, I gotta think about things before I do it. That's fine, and I don't want to put you in a rush or anything. But that's just what they just told me. So, um, if we pay okay. the closing costs and do one fifteen, and get you to close up, you know, when you're ready, when you find a place and everything, you know, like I say, make this easy. That's our main goal. We'll get this thing done for you pretty easily. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I still want to think about it. That's um, fine. Because I. Um, and I'll send you my email and, and everything, okay? Okay, and we'll get that drawn up for you with that with those options as well. So you can just figure out from there okay. what makes sense to you. And, uh, you know, if you okay. do have any questions or think of anything, feel free to call me back or text me back anytime, okay? That's my direct number there you oh. got. Okay, all right. Uh, we'll do. Thank uh, you, Chris. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye. Dang, she worked the hell out of me on that one. <laughs> First, she don't want to give me a number. Then when I get her to give me a number, she's stuck at 130. And then when I say, oh, can we meet somewhere in the middle? I'm slick from 100 to 115. I don't even think somebody will pay but about 125 cash for this to me. I mean, and that's just ballparking it. I mean, I'm trying to make a quick 10 G's on the phone with y'all, man. You going to lock that up? Hell yeah, I'm going to send, I don't know. Should I send her a contract with the 115 on it? Or should I send her an offer? I send her the contract. Hell, she don't need no uh, thing. <laughs> you the goat for this call. <laughs> she wouldn't take them turns. I would have rather got that house on time. Did you see the pictures of this house? Let me pull them up again. This house nice. I'm moving this bad boy myself. Shoot. I want to move in it myself. Talking about some dang on. Let me think about it. And then you like how I put her with that time is of the essence to let her know that, hey, yeah, we can do 115 if you're ready to get the paperwork started today. And actually, I did mess up with that call, by the way, for the people that have been watching from the beginning. Uh, I should have asked her if we're able to agree on a price. Are you ready to get the paperwork started today? That's what I should have asked her before even making an offer. I did fib that up a little bit. And that's why I like to do these live or do them, you know, where you can see what's going on. No, I'm already telling you, she's going to call you back and go, it's already locked up. That's right, Kilo. That's right. So something going on with it. So let me let y'all see this house again, what it looks like. The pictures. So that's what it looked like. Nice little brick front house there. Cute. Two-car garage attached. Beautiful. Perfect condition. Nothing wrong with the house. I'm about to just send it a contract here. Yeah. I don't need no uh, thing. Nice little open floor plan. Living room. It's a small house, though, I think. You know, I like it. It's perfect for me. Electric oven. Oh, I didn't even tell her about the stuff if she wants to leave her stuff behind. Because all that furniture and stuff, I'll uh, I'll take all of that. That washer, that dryer, anything she don't want, just leave it there. That's one of the bedrooms, I guess. Maybe the master bedroom. I mean, it's not like a completely updated house. Because look at those sliding door closets. I mean, that's not like cream of the crop or anything but it is a cute little house that's an easy deal in a good area down in arnold missouri yep a little cute house what's up queen green how you been so hopefully this video helped y'all out in some type of a way don't forget to get to give a thumbs up but like give it a share if you care that's the basement they got a dining room or something set up down there the basement and another living room huge backyard i mean this lady 79 years old what's she doing cutting this long yard right here and look at that air condition just looking at the air condition that mother look new so the house is in pretty much perfect condition from what i can tell and so we're gonna lock it up for 115 i think let me see something so i think the house is worth let me see arv on this property is probably uh, let's see here 
they say it's worth about 150 on here so say the ARV is 150 approximately she says she had it sold at 155 but it fell through but we're gonna say 150 times 0.8 that's a 20% discount Ooh, that's too tight 115 is too tight because that means I can only sell it for about 120 to 125 maybe on a 20% discount let's see 155 what she sold it for before times oh shit. 155 one damn computer accurate. you gotta have your zip calculator oh my gosh not a calculator 155 times 0. 0.8 is 124 is that right and that's a 20 percent discount because the house needs no repairs to be honest i mean you could make repairs just to do it but the house don't need nothing and it's been updated within the last three four years you say 112 <laughs> I'm about to send her a contract at 110. Hell, that's what I want to do. What should I send it at? 115, which she said she could do. I don't want to be that tight because I, I mean, I have to go back and renegotiate, and I don't want to have to do that. I'll lock it up and put on there, close on it before December 31st of 2020. Let me see if she sent her email address too. That's how you know if somebody's serious. If they send the email address, you know they about that life. There it is. She sent her email. She wants something in writing. Let's get her a contract. All right. So did y'all have any other questions, comments, concerns before I get up out of here and do some more woke stuff? Don't forget we're going live this Monday night with Kayla Buys Houses. She probably will get a higher offer, to be honest, because, I mean, it did sell three times, but the financing fell through. We're not doing financing. We're doing cash. And I should just say, you say, no, nah, keep it at 110. If she get a higher offer, then go up. I'm about to send her a contract for 110 and call it a day, huh? She going to be like, huh? 110? That ain't what you want to do. Yeah, I'm going to send her one for 110. Because I don't really want to do 115, to be honest. That's too tight. If I do it at 110 and I can sell it for maybe 120, that's 10 grand. Even if I sold it at 115, that's 5 grand. Easy money. And I ain't have to do nothing. I'm not going to the house, I don't think. I mean, I might be going when I got to go show it to somebody, but the house is in perfect condition. I'm not playing around with nobody. So I'm probably going to send it out for like 125 and see what kind of people I can get to hit on it. Cash only. It's kind of tight. I would like to be at 100. At 100, I know it's a slam dunk deal. No questions asked because I know I would sell it for 110 or more, 115 or more, 120 or more. I know that for a fact. At 100, it's a slam dunk deal. But at 110, it's kind of getting tight. 115 is really getting tight. So we're going to have to figure it out either way. What's up? The Kaizen Investor. So you got 110 on deck or is it your investor? Uh, 110. I want to be at 100. That was my real original offer. One, I'm not buying it. I could buy it, but I'm, I wasn't planning on buying it. I was planning on wholesaling it. But I could buy it at 100000 That's low enough, to be honest. So that's why I want to be in that lower hundreds because it gives me room for any kind of hiccups. If I go too high, 110 is about the most I want to be at. Because I think I could sell it for about 120, realistically. 120, maybe 125. And even if somebody come in a little bit below that, 118, 115, anything other above that, 110, I'm saying let's go. They say 120, let's go. 115, maybe let's go. You know, depending on if they causing me no problems. So that's my main thing here, making it easy for her. And uh, I think I'm just going to go ahead and send her the contract. Any other questions, comments, concerns? Let's see here. Let me go to DocuSign. We're going to go ahead and send her a contract right now. A wet one. Oh, okay. You're getting it on paper to wholesale it. Yeah, I always get it locked up. See, I don't take nobody serious until I get it under contract. I don't even go to work. That was the most work I'm going to do right there, what you're saying. And I, I shouldn't even been on there that long with her, for real. I was just trying to see if I can close her on a deal. Because if I go out to the house, she's doing it for 100 If I go out there and act like, oh, yeah, I love Trump, too, and all that, whatever she was saying in the beginning of the phone call, building that rapport, she sounds like she's ready to go. She knows she can get more than that, and she's right. Everything she said, she was right. But everything I was saying, I was right, too. So we got to meet somewhere. She said she would put 5,000 more on it and do 115. So, um, I would like to be at 110, to be honest. That's where I would, I would like to be at 100 is where I would really like to be, but I would do 110. 115 is kind of tight. 
So we'll see how that works out. Let's see here. It might work out. That's right, foreign investments. It's fire. Fire for the liars. So we're going to do that there. I got to get ready to get back home anyway because I got coaching tonight. If you're looking for a good real estate coach, hold your hand through the deal. Get you all the paperwork you need to do any type of deal. Help you close these sellers. Help you close these buyers. Help represent you in the game. Hit me up, wokerealestate.com. That's the website to get the information on the coaching program to know what it all comes with and things like that. And uh, you'll be ready to go. Rent to go. WokeRealEstate.com. Yo, I got two properties locked up right now in Lubbock, Texas, minutes away from the Texas Tech, but haven't seen the inside. But they accepted 56. The ARV is 115, maybe a 12 kind. Good job, Kilo. You, you, you sent it out to some buyers or what? You found somebody to buy that month? Get a, get a buyer locked in with some EMD, some non refundable EMD. Get them locked in and, uh, that, and get it in escrow and go from there. Make that money, man. Congratulations. Make that money, honey. So I will catch y'all on Monday night. If you want to be notified of that, all you have to do is text JV to 31996. Text JV to 31996. And that'll get you on a notification for the Monday night streams. All right. So I will catch y'all on the next one. So, do what you do, be who you be, and I'll see you.